Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, first of all as you can see it's getting uh, darker and darker earlier as winter is coming <laughs> that reminds me of Game of Thrones ah, we'll see it next year I am a big fan of the show, I hope you are too but uh, we are here to talk about trading and today is the day I will share uh, yet another trading plan with you uh, this week we are going to take a look at the Euro-Japanese uh, Yen currency pair and the possible scenarios we might expect throughout this week and maybe uh, next week. Uh, also we are going to cover a few different time frames starting from daily going down to H4 where our main plan will be and uh, we'll also talk a little bit about the possible possible entry points on the h1 so stay tuned till the end of the video and don't miss this move let's get started what you can see on the screen is the uh, daily time frame of the currency pair uh, i've already outlined some areas and levels uh, which we we will discuss now uh, first thing first is this weekly support area 1 uh, as you can see if we move a little bit back you can see how the price behaved at that area here and uh, also here it acted as a resistance and so far here you can see that after uh, the price reached this area after a very long uh, downtrend here uh, a huge whip uh, was formed uh, on this uh, last bearish candle and then we saw an engulfing candle and today uh, we are seeing a continuation of the bulls run now uh, also I want to say about this weekly support area you can see that a few times um, the area was broken but price quickly retraced uh, above it so uh, I do expect this uh, bounce to be legit and for the price to uh, make um, an uptrend in the following days now we have a weekly support area 2 which basically is defined by those uh, previous bottoms here and here uh, of course there is the chance for the price to retrace from here reach that weekly support area and from there to start the new uptrend but we will uh, prepare for this scenario as well uh, now above here we have this daily I'm sorry it's a daily resistance area not support area okay uh, you can see how the price behaved when uh, it reached this area for example here actually here uh, this area was broken and uh, it stopped this correction uh, again here we had a strong reaction although here it went a bit above it it quickly retraced back below it and again a correction was stopped here here so overall this is a pretty strong uh, resistance area and this should be our uh, main target of course uh, you can consider uh, this area on top of it where the last few tops were and you can see how the price reacted from it before here it uh, formed a range in it so this is a more long-term target and uh, not that safe so it would be good to take profits on this one this daily resistance area and uh, leave the rest floating of your positions and decide what to do with that when the price reaches here um, Another thing I want to add on the daily time frame is this decision level uh, which I marked. This is basically uh, the previous bottom uh, the price made over here. So this previous bottom is uh, sort of a point which we will anticipate for the price to break in order to continue up reaching to that daily resistance area or even all the way up here. Uh, you can see that although here uh, this uh, was the previous bottom you can see that this level actually had some support and resistance qualities uh, in the past so I believe this is a level which will decide uh, the fate of this uh, currency pair for until the end of the week 
Now, going to the H4, what we currently see is this small uptrend, which actually just reached the decision level. Now, here, uh, I'll just delete that. I want to say a few words. Here, there are a few uh, things to look for. Uh, one of the possibilities is for the this uptrend to continue a little bit further up, breaking this decision level. Uh, then we might see a correction to it and a new wave up to the daily resistance. Uh, this is one of the scenarios in which we can uh, profitably look for um, entry points after the correction has finished, since even if we enter here, somewhere after the break. Uh, it's quite late into this H4 trend and uh, we'll most likely see at least one or two candles uh, as a correction before con the uptrend continues. Uh, another place you can look for entries, uh, although it is a little bit more riskier, it is uh, if the price <coughs> goes back from here to this uh, trend line um, of the trend channel and from here to continue up. So you can look for entry somewhere here, but again, I want to say it's a bit riskier, so monitor your trade closely. And if you see a break of this uh, trend channel, you should close your positions in order to avoid losing um, <clears throat> all of it, all of the invested amount, of course. Uh, of course, uh, there is one last uh, scenario that for me is possible here and it is to see for us to see a bounce from this um, decision level and for the price to retrace back to the weekly support area. Uh, now there are a few chances here you can trade uh, the currency pair a very short term if you see a break of this uh, trend channel you can look for a sell entry and with a take profit somewhere here uh, of course, if you're lucky, it can continue all the way down to this weekly support area too. So it's a, it's worth a shot. But again, uh, you should enter on a lower time frame, monitor it closely, especially when the price reaches this weekly support area. And from there, uh, you have probably another decision. If we see a double bottom here, uh, we might see a very strong uptrend move. So. Uh, take close attention also to this spot as an entry point. Uh, those are basically the entry points uh, which we are looking, which we will be looking for on the H4 time frame. Um, now I just want to also turn on the uh, moving average um, indicator with uh, 200 period settings. You can see where it is. It's uh, exactly at the daily resistance area. Um, and often uh, this line, the, the line of the indicator acts as a support or resistance. So there is a high chance that here uh, the uptrend will stop and we'll see a correction. Uh, turning on to the H1, let me just delete those. Uh, in order to see better. So the H1 will basically be our entry uh, time frame, but uh, those entries should be placed according to the uh, H4 uh, plant entry stop, uh, entry points. Uh, just the H1 will give you a better positioning in terms of um, entering uh, earlier than too late into the move. Uh, currently on the H1, uh, there is not much we can say. Uh, of course, here there is a chance for us to see some consolidation below this area, below this decision level. So uh, actually this can be a quite good spot for consolidation and square formation. Since if the um, top of this formation is broken, uh, we might also see a break of this decision level, uh, which will basically be a double signal. So it's it would be a quite good entry possibility. Of course, on the H4, you can also look for the break of the trend channel, or as we spoke on the H4 time frame, for the bounce of this uh, trend line. Uh, 
Uh, this is all regarding the Euro Japanese yen currency pair trading plan. Uh, the plan will be posted on TradingView so you can monitor its progress. I will uh, try to post live signals on our Telegram channel and or on our Twitter page. So follow us, join the channel uh, so you get notified when we post something and don't miss uh, some profitable moves. Uh, also, you can check on TradingView in the description the all the zones we spoke about in numbers and uh, also I will update there uh, how things are going with the with our trades and uh, with our uh, plan as a whole. Uh, our team here in Sofia wishes you a great and profitable week wherever you are.